Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Our Gray House and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some super quick, super easy DIYs that you can do just in time for Easter. I was noticing that my craft table looks like the hot mess express basically because I have things that I'm going to be like oh I had this idea I had that idea and I just left it on my table and so I thought the best way to clean it up is to go ahead and start crafting. First up is going to be some easy photo clips and I bought these little clothespins couldn't think what that was called clothespins from the Dollar Tree and I just stained them now I will tell you when I stain stuff it always feels kind of oily to me and I just it doesn't smell that bad now but I still can smell it <sighs> anyways what I normally do to stain and or paint mostly to paint because I don't really stain that much because I don't like the smell and I don't like how it feels oily anyway I clip them on here and then I go with my spray paint and then that way I can kind of get all the sides and I'm not having to flip it over and it's just like that. So yeah, little tip, little trick for you. So what I'm gonna do is we, I love hanging photos up of my grandkids and my family and I found these. These are little Easter bunnies. They do have like little glue, square, square glue on the back, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use hot glue and just trying to make sure I'm not, see, I've got just junk everywhere. Anyways, um, on this, just gonna glue these to the photo clip. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So all you have to do is take your little clothespin. I keep wanting to call it a photo clip because that's what I, it, it is in my mind. It's not really a clothespin. I don't hang up clothes like that. Although when I was growing up, we used to. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue here. Then I'm gonna take one of these little stickers and you have to make sure you're putting it, like because I want it to be like that. So I have to make sure I've got it standing the right way. And there, that's all you gotta do. Very simple, very easy. I'm gonna finish these all up so that I can hang them, hang my photos from them. Here are the finished photo clips. I think they turned out so cute. I love them. And like I said, I'm just gonna, let's see if I have a photo right here. Oh, well, this is my daughter, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. See? I found these two wooden eggs at Hobby Lobby. It's been several months, probably six months or so, and they were in the clearance section. So it always pays to go shopping in the clearance section of a store, especially like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, that kind of thing, because you never know what you're gonna find. What I'm gonna do is gonna take that decorative nautical rope, which was the thinner rope, and I'm gonna use that to wrap around the egg. And then I'm gonna use this other kind of rope. I don't know what it's called, except it's not juked. It's like this white, I don't know, cord maybe. And I'm gonna use that on one of the eggs as well. And I thought I would do like a two-toned look, but I'm trying to determine if this is gonna be like really thick or if I should use something else. Hold on a moment. I was trying to see if I had any thinner jute rope, but I don't. So what I do have is like really thin, so it would just take me forever and a day to finish this project. So what I'm gonna do is start coloring, um, coloring the eggs, covering the eggs, start covering the eggs. It looks like it has like a really bad toupee, but I'm gonna end it here, and then I'm gonna start this, which is a lot thinner, but I still think it'll turn out okay. Here's the first egg. Not quite what I was thinking, but not, I don't know, it wasn't quite what I was thinking. I thought it'd be like really looking super cool. So this is gonna go on my tear tray and you know, I might be leaning it against something, but it's not really, I mean, it's standing up okay. We're like, oh, good job standing up. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Let's work on the next one. I think I'm just gonna do the next one in this twine here because I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just think this one looks cuter. I don't know. I feel like I'm using a lot of glue as well for this project. This is the Sherbunder glue gun, and it's the dual temp one, but um, I don't feel like I'm going through a lot of glue. So now I just put a little dab of glue at the top, and I'm gonna start wrapping it around. This one turned out a lot cuter, in my opinion. 
So now I have two eggs ready to go on my tear tray and I think they turned out pretty, pretty super cute, pretty cute. I like this one better. Although this one's kind of growing on me, kind of liking that little two-toned look. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed sharing with you guys these super easy photo clips. This is a photo here of my triplets and it's Sarah, Anna, and Catherine, although their birth order is Anna, Sarah, and Catherine. Anyway, these turned out so easy, and all you need is just a sticker and some hot glue and some clothespins, and bam, you've got a photo clip. And then for the two eggs, while the one egg, the two-tone egg, didn't turn out exactly as I had in my mind, I think these look cute and they're gonna look great on my tiered tray. All the links to the items that I used will be in the description box below. If you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.